In this video, we will walk through the basic steps required to automate and silently install VLC Media Player using both the EXE and MSI installers. And as a bonus, I will show you how to disable VLC Media Player automatic update checks and metadata network access. First, we will open our browser to the VLC Media Player downloads page. Select the version number that you wish to install. Choose either Win32 or Win64 based on your preference or operating system architecture. Click the link to download the executable installer. I've downloaded the EXE to the C Downloads folder. Open an elevated command prompt by right clicking on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator. Change the directory to the C Downloads folder. Enter the following command. The command is the executable space forward slash uppercase s. Press enter. After a few moments, you should see the VLC media player desktop shortcut appear. You will also find entries in the start menu, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. In this next example, I will demonstrate how to install VLC media player silently using the MSI installer. Let's go back to the Downloads page, select the version of your choice, choose either Win32 or Win64, click the link to download the MSI installer, I've downloaded the MSI to the C Downloads directory, open an elevated command prompt by right clicking on Command Prompt and select Run as Administrator, change the directory to the C Downloads folder. Enter the following command. The command is msiexec.exe space forward slash i space the name of the msi space forward slash qn. You may also want to generate a log file during the installation to assist with troubleshooting should any problems arise. To accomplish that, we will add the following switch parameter. Press enter. After a few moments, you should see the VLC Media Player desktop shortcut, entries in the start menu, the installation directory, and programs and features in the control panel. We can also confirm that the installation completed successfully in the log file. When we first launch VLC Media Player, we are presented with a privacy and network access policy pop-up. If you are deploying this application across hundreds or even thousands of devices, this can create confusion from the end user's perspective and may result in inconsistent configurations across all your systems, depending on what options the end user selects. Follow these steps to disable VLC Media Player automatic update checks, metadata access, and prevent the privacy and network access policy pop-up when deploying VLC Media Player. Uncheck Allow Metadata Network Access and uncheck Regularly Check for VLC Updates. Click Continue. Navigate to the Tools tab. Select Preferences. Under the Privacy Network Interaction section, confirm that the Activate Updates Notifier and Allow Metadata Network Access are unchecked. Click Save and exit out of the VLC Media Player. Navigate to the App Data VLC directory in the current user profile. Copy the VLC RC file to the C Downloads directory with the VLC executable or MSI you downloaded earlier. Uninstall VLC Media Player. and delete the app data VLC directory in the current user profile. To put this all together and demonstrate how this works, I created a simple batch script that will silently install VLC Media Player, create the app data VLC directory in the default user profile, 
copy the VLC RC file to the app data VLC directory in the default user profile. With this in place, any new user profiles will automatically get the file copied to their user profile. However, any existing user profiles on the device will need to have the VLCRC file copied to their user profile in order to suppress the privacy and network access policy pop-up when launching the application. To accomplish that, I've added the following commands. To create the app data VLC directory in the current user profile, and copy the VLCRC file to the app data VLC directory in the current user profile. To test this out, open an elevated command prompt, change the directory to the C downloads folder, enter the following command, press enter, After a few moments, you should see the VLC Media Player desktop shortcut appear. You will also find entries in the Start menu, the Installation Directory, and Programs and Features in the Control Panel. We can also confirm that the VLC RC file is present in the default user profile and the current user profile. Now when we launch VLC Media Player for the first time, Notice that the privacy and network access policy pop-up is suppressed. And under Tools, Preferences, we can see that both Activate Updates Notifier and Allow Metadata Network Access are unchecked. For more free content, check out silentinstallhq.com. Thank you so much for watching.